What's up, you all? What's going on? We're about to watch this video by Rival called The Ari Drama is Worse Than We Thought. Okay, this is about uh, Faker's $500 skin, but Riot Games $500 skin. Let's be clear. Seeing as the past few episodes have been pretty serious topics, I thought we'd begin today's news with a funny clip. Now, I don't advocate for stream sniping. In fact, I have the opposite stance, but I thought this clip was maybe one of the only acceptable instances I've ever seen, purely because it's against a Teemo player. This comes from EOS. Oh, a Teemo player. Rago. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but his link will be in the description below. Check out the clip. What's happening? Wait, huh? He opened. Oh. oh, that is hilarious. And look at the smile on this dude's face as he gets fucking discovered. That is hilarious. Oh, he got your ass. That's funny. That's and the Teemo ignited. Today, That's hilarious. By adjusting the already adjusted mastery crests that no one likes. Sir, so what does all this have League Awards? What does all this have to do? Self and Pedro. Honestly, with the combined Bro, let's get to the Arbor drama. That us you you got in this video. Just officially released on the 12th of June was the $500 Faker Ari skin, and with it was a resurgence of issues, as if we didn't have enough already. Firstly, the oh, issues. Ari movement has indeed become a reality. Shared on Twitter earlier by Cadrill is this insane jump in her ban rate in alignment with the skin release. And honestly, the more I was researching her ban rate, okay. I found out about hashtag permaban Ari or hashtag boycott Ari. Even the comments under Ari's OP.GG are all hashtags and foreign flame about the price of the skin. In proximity of the wow. skin, Riot also had another couple of things up their sleeve. Firstly, was this statue of the skin, which I have to say is incredible, but there's one problem. The physical statue, in all its detailed and physical glory, it looks great. Less than the in game version that are just pixels. Then, to oh. be able to buy the new skin, they introduced the mega RP bundles. Not much to say here, except they scale up to almost half a grand. So, of course, a Yeah, that's kind of crazy. To address it to some medium. Here we have Riot Metal's response. I'll give you the TLDR. The skin is apparently a good way to celebrate. Some medium. Here we have I'm gonna get my own TLDR. There's the opportunity to celebrate. Okay, some bullshit. A dedicated event with tailored content is a good way. Mm, if you say so. We should offer content at a wide range of different price points. Why? Players who don't want or can't spend anything should still get to engage with, with some of the event. I agree. The event past 1950s should be a really strong core offer, and I do agree to pass is amazing. This is a time where we believe we should also really we should also offer really expensive versions akin to collectors editions collectibles those are created for a very small part of the audience that wants the price point in exchange for a lot of money and exclusivity i mean yeah response i'll give you the tldr the skin is apparently a good way to celebrate staple pro players and help cover the cost of esports he says despite the skin sitting at the highest tier of cost all the way up to that tier are different types of content for everyone they don't have to just buy the skin they can interact at lots of price points as low as 20 bucks he then concludes by saying these skins are created for a quote very small part of the audience that wants that sort of price point in exchange for exclusivity quote doing so will almost certainly create frustrations from people who aren't interested in that price which as much as i like meddler is just weird wording who is interested in expensive prices i don't know the Last time something being ex doing so will almost certainly create frustrations from people who aren't interested in that price. Which, as much as I like Medlar, is just weird wording. Who is interested in expensive prices? I don't know. The Genshin Wells. I'm screaming. Being exorbitantly expensive was my main driver for a purchase. Oh, that's because it's never happened. It's also worth noting that the quote funding esports part is only a thirty percent cut, but it's actually right. less than that because I think some of the percentage goes to Faker and T1, which Medler didn't mention. So seventy percent is interesting. It's a riot. Anyway, comments under Reddit posts are always a good read. Here are some of the most relevant. Sergeant Escur says he's saying out loud what we all know in somewhat acceptable PR terms. We just want to milk the whales, lol. Zerarion then follows that up by saying, "quote I'd be much less annoyed if they didn't do it under Faker's name. The most right ever grace the pro scene who never uses skins." Then we had a response from game director Pew. Pew Lasers. This article comes from PC Gamer, where they spoke to Pew Pew Lasers in a Q&A at Summer Games Fest. This article will be linked to Rengar gonna die, isn't he? Yeah. Damn Rengar. I knew it. They watch e 
esports, they enjoy all the content, all the music, all the cinematics, and they do all this at zero dollars. So the vast majority of players spend zero dollars on a free to play game. As a consequence of that, the majority of our revenue comes from a small single digit percentage of players. What oh, wow. Dang, you mean to tell me a single digit, 9% or less, is giving y'all billions? That is insane. Nine, nine percent, a single digit, nine percent or less is funding all of this. Only nine percent of the player base is funding Arcane. That's crazy. That's why we, that's why they're ending, ending it. That's why there are players who they got the answer a month on their hobbies, except this skin is worth 2.5 times that. Uh, anyway, continuing on, he says, God, I mean, people will spend here's what, sorry, these little quick snippets, you know what? God damn it. These little quick snippets that he be doing, but here's here's my opinion, right? Regardless of uh, of your opinions on the skin, you can't be mad at how other people choose to spend their money. Um, sure, you can be mad at like the the company, I guess, for making it that way, but people will buy it. Um, I'm sure people have bought it, and it's it's just gonna be the the reality of of the situation. Um, People are going to spend their money however they want to. That does not affect you in any type of capacity, especially if you are not going to purchase the skin yourself. Why, why, like, why do you care? I don't know. The majority of players spend zero dollars on a free-to-play game. As a consequence of that, the majority of our revenue comes from a small, single-digit percentage of players. What we really think about on the morality side is that there are players who are willing to spend two hundred dollars a month on their hobbies. Except this skin is worth 2.5 times that. Uh, anyway, continuing on, he says, God knows how much I spent on Warhammer figurines. Bro, what, what? I hate when people do this in their, in their uh, videos. They like do things super slowly. They put like these little mi millisecond snippets. I want to see what, what he said. So we gonna, we gonna reslide it and, and see. Miniatures. Oh, okay. But it's really important that we capture that willingness and that ability to spend. But the issue with this second statement is that he's. If he does it again, I'm not slowing down. Okay, I'm not slowing down for that. Miniatures. Yeah. Pale Heart 52 says Faker's legacy should not be used as a gimmick for money. I agree. He doesn't use any skins, so best way to honor him is to not buy this awful $500 skin. French Coost then adds, This is the biggest thing for me. They take one of the most humblest and certainly most respected players in league, dare I say esports history, and make his skin, the skin honoring his commitment to the game and his continued legacy, completely unobtainable for any reasonable individual. He continues saying, I'm a big proponent of spending money on games. It's what allows the games we love to continue to function, and shaming people for supporting the game they spend hours in is embarrassing. That said, this skin is a damn car payment. Depending on where you live, that's rent for a whole month. Yeah. It's potentially a month's worth. It is a lot. All that for a guy who never uses skins in the first place it's just craziness and a great point is made by bobo geeks who says he spends money on warhammer figures right figures tangible objects there's a difference and to round about is mxcn3 a warhammer collector saying for 11 percent of the price of the re skin i can get a set of 10 sisters of battle that come with hours of assembling and painting i.e enjoyable hobby wear resell e. or whatever i want comparing a 500 dollars lol skin to warhammer is ludicrous and that's even with the knowledge that warhammer stuff is overpriced and he also makes a really good point there if you were to get banned on your main league legends account that had that 500 dollars re skin it is down the drain and because it's a legacy event or a limited event you can't get it back again because the skin won't be available for purchase so with all this negative feedback and the skin's actual release it'll be interesting if there's any addressal from riot especially if the perma band re movement gains any more traction but with all this please let me know your thoughts on the situation in the comments below oh, i also thought it's worth mentioning that if you don't want to pay for the skin hextech store is doing a giveaway in their discord okay yeah i mean i kind of already said my two piece on it if, if you mad at people how they choose to spend their money then i think that's kind of weird you can definitely be mad at the company for making something extremely expensive but i think it's kind of dumb to be mad at other people bank accounts uh other people's wallets i think that that's kind of weird a weird thing to be mad at people spend thousands of dollars on purses and, and other things that i may not necessarily agree with but i also don't give a fuck because it's their money they can spend it how they want so be definitely be mad at the company and not the players um that is what i hope society is doing but i mean i could also care less what society is doing people are just miserable anyway yep that's about it for me uh but that is hilarious though how much ari's ban rate has risen hmm